Hello YouTube, this is Mito D Green. I'm back again with another toy review. This is the review of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers from the Lightning Collection uh, from Hasbro. And this is obviously here, all six of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers slash uh, Zoo Rangers. So we're going to start from left to right, which means that we're going to start off with the Mammoth Ranger, otherwise known as the Black Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. And here he is, the Mighty Morphin Black Ranger, also known as Zack Taylor. Ugh. This head sculpt is not appealing at all, but you know, they, I, they've done the best that they could. So here's the figure, here's the whole figure. The rotation is exactly the same as all the other uh, Lightning Collection figures. The rotations are exactly the same as the other Lightning Collection figures, so I'm just going to just run through this. Head. Mm -hmm. Neck. T-pose. Shoulders. There's a butterfly joint here. Bicep swivel, double eat, double elbow joint, and wrist, and the wrist can go up and down like this. Have a ball joint here for the chest. Far, it's back this far. Legs can go out. Not much, not much behind. Thigh swivel. Double knee joint. Boot rotation. And the ankles can rock back and forth. Back and forth, up and down. So let's take this uh, head sculpt off of him and let's put his helmet on. There he is. The helmet looks really, really good. So here's this guy. Next up is going to be the Mighty Morphin Yellow Ranger. And here she is. Trainee Quan, otherwise known as the Mighty Morphin Yellow Ranger. There's no need to harp on this. The American Creators behind Power Rangers took the Japanese footage and made the Yellow Ranger into a, a girl instead of a boy. Even though in the, the Japanese footage he was a boy. There we go. Uh, this is the first female sculpt that I have to review. Oh, congratulations. So the head can move 360 degrees, but it's, oh, no, it's not hindered by the hair at all that shoulder T pose no bicep swivel single elbow joint wrist swivel wrist can go up and down like this Ball joint chest. That far. 
back that far. Legs can go straight out, not back. Thigh swivels here. A double knee joint is here. And boot swivel. And ankle pivots and ankle rockers. Go. So let's take this civilian helmet off of her and let's put on the actual helmet. And here she is. Helmet looks great. See it better now? Possibly. Looks really, really good. So next up, we're going to have the Red Ranger. And here he is. He's all smiles. Alright, what was his name again? Was it Jason Lee? I think it was... What was Jason's last name? Can you guys tell me in the comments below what was his last name? I can't remember right now. Go. Very, very nice costume. Unfortunately, the the diamonds on mine do not line up perfectly, so you can see that they're kind of off, kind of off in the back too. They don't really line up perfectly, but it's fine. So let's take the civilian head off of. Oh wait, before I do that, this uh, all smiles figure actually came from. Uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. So this was not the original face that was packaged with the figure. Just wanted to let you know that. So let's take this civilian head off and let's get to the helmet. Here he is. I've done my best. I've done my best to try and fix this helmet. Oh. Yeah, the, uh, the silver bits on the side did not match up in the middle. So, I've done my best to try and fix that. It still looks good. Alright, next up is going to be the Green Ranger. And here he is, Tommy Oliver. That looks really, really good. So the ribbon goes all the way around his head. Nice shiny shield. So the articulation is not hindered by the shield. The shield isn't kind of not flimsy, but it's a sturdy plastic. Turn around, up and down, and he's good to go. I keep hitting my light, sorry. So let's take this hel this uh, civilian head off and let's put his helmet on. And here he is. Hmm. Maybe they had these two confused. <laughs> the these parts are supposed to match up in the middle. These parts are not supposed to match up in the middle. Maybe they got them confused. But this helmet looks amazing. Looks really really good. I really like the shade of green too. So next up we are going to have the Pink Ranger. And here she is, Kimberly Hart. Looks great. The same articulation that the Yellow Ranger has is the same that the Pink Ranger has. So here we go, so the upper body is the same, there's not much restriction when it comes down to the skirt because there's a slit right here on the side so the legs can go pretty far up. Alright, so let's take this pretty face off and let's go to her helmet 
And here she is. Very, very nice helmet. Got it. Very, very nice. And last but certainly not least, we're going to have the Blue Ranger. And here he is, Billy Cranston. So I think that he looked better without the glasses. I think he looks more like the actor without the glasses. So here, to compare, all right, let me take this one down. So here is the one with the glasses. Looks really, really good, but this one looks better. Very, very nice shade of blue. On camera, the... Okay, no. On camera, the diamonds in the middle do look faded. It's not just me. Alright, so let's take the civilian head off of him and let's put on his helmet. And here he is. All of these helmet sculpts looked, look absolutely amazing. All of these helmet sculpts look absolutely amazing. They look great. Just love all of them. Now there are a few paint uh, discrepancies with these figures. With these three. You can see that all of their dino bucklers or morphers, they all look the same. Let's take this, but this morpher is not the same as this morpher. It's very minute, but you can kind of tell that this one over here is missing paint. But not as much as this one over here. This one has no red at all in the morpher. Oh, this one, this one right here. So these morphers are similar. I'm glad that the fact that they remember that this morpher is gold and not gray or silver. So, but, oh great. It's like half gold and half silver. Gold at the bottom and silver at the top. Oh well. So for this one, the diamonds. I guess it's the same for all of them. The diamonds are kind of all for all of them. Out of the three, the blue is the one that comes the closest to being accurate when it comes down to the diamonds on the chest. But the two female figures, let's see. No, they're pretty good. They're pretty solid. And here they all are. No, eh. They're, they're, they're a sight to behold. They're really, really good. There's some inconsistencies here and there, and there's some paint paint issues here and there, but all together they all look amazing, and I'm really glad that I picked these up. They're all still available at this time. At the moment, you can still pick up this entire set for yourself if you want, or if not, you can just live vicariously through my videos. So. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye.